Hey, hope y'all are doing fine. This is going to be the final update on this tomato plant that we bought, 12 inch pot. We separated into a couple of main plants, put them into the five gallon buckets with nutrient solution, held them in place with a little hydrogen, and basically just set it and forget it. Just keep it between half and three quarters full at all time. And we took some of the suckers, four of them, decided to root these. And in a couple of weeks when they were ready, we put those into our NFT system. Now, if you guys haven't seen those videos on how to set all this up, I'll link them up above and in the description below, and you can get up to speed. Now we let these go pretty much without any care. We just kept them filled up between halfway and three quarters. And we just let these guys hang out in the NFT system with the rest of our greens. We let these droop down below because there really wasn't room up on top. Now I grew Roma tomatoes because they grew pretty fast and they'll ripen up pretty fast. If I try to grow beef steak tomatoes, they take a whole lot longer and there's a lot more chance of something going wrong, pests getting in here, nutrients getting off, just all kinds of things can happen. So basically in these off-grid systems, I like to grow leafy greens that you can harvest quickly. But if you grow tomatoes, I go with cherry tomatoes or Roma tomatoes or, or any kind of small variety like that. If you're at home and you can take care of them and you know, keep an eye on your nutrient level, keep the pest off, you know, then, then you can do that. But if you're trying to do this like a carefree system where you're just leaving it for a week at a time, then you're better off with a smaller variety of tomato. Take a look inside. You can see that this plant's already, we're harvesting off of it. We need to refill this. The roots are starting to turn a little brown. I was gone for a week and it's getting really hot and anybody who grows tomatoes knows after it goes above 85 degrees they really don't set fruit but these are still setting fruit and it's 95 degrees but I'm not sure how big these would get because they'll be struggling in a little while here. So even though they're sent fruit, I think it's about that's about it for these two plants. And I know sooner or later, these tomatoes are going to clog up that pipe. See that four inch pipe? So I'm trying to let them go. And that's why I grew the Roma tomatoes because I know the beef steaks would not even be close to this. And these pipes would be clogged up. And usually what I do is pull these out, trim the roots and put them back in. But I haven't done, I just want to see how long it'll go before it does back everything up. If I can grow the Roma tomatoes, harvest them without having to trim the roots at all. So, so far so good. These are still going. These are still got to ripen up maybe another couple of weeks. Things are still flowing. Not sure, not sure how well, but we're just going to let it go. And one day we're going to see if it, it does back up. So it's been pretty cool coming out here with the greens and having, you know, grabbing a couple of tomatoes. You know, these are Romas. If you're not making spaghetti sauce or anything, you know, if you just need a couple for a sandwich, you know, this is great having this out here. And we walk out and grab one or two, toss them on your sandwich, put them in your salad. And I think we're going on about four weeks of having, you know, tomatoes whenever we want, you know, just to walk out there.
impressive all in all for not giving these things any care you can see there's kale in the back I haven't pruned a whole lot you know just letting these things go wild got some tomatoes growing in with our dino kale and curly kale and collards and mint probably not the wisest thing to do but this is all experimenting So off of that one 12 inch bucket that we bought, separated the plants. We got about five or six bowls like this, not counting what's out there right now that we still have to harvest. So overall it's gonna be about 10 or 12 bowls that we got out of that. And uh, I think that's pretty good off of one plant, it was 12 bucks. All right, don't forget, live to inspire. Keep on growing. I love y'all. Peace.